Hello ladies and gentlemen, Hollow here today, and I wanna talk about all the things that we possibly know about Halo 6 when it comes out. There's, there's a lot of rumors out there right now. There's a lot of people just spewing you know, nonsense. People uploading videos that don't don't even, I, I, I'm not calling anybody out, but some of the videos that you guys are uploading, I don't know about that. But there are a few interviews with people around 343 and Microsoft that gives you a little bit of an insight into what's gonna happen with Halo 6. One of the biggest things that they announced, um, not even recently, I think it was at E3, was that Halo 6 will most definitely 100%, 110%, 100, actually it's not even 100%, it is 200% because it's time to will have split screen co-op. And that's pretty awesome for anybody who really enjoys playing with friends and stuff. You know, Halo really, uh, oh, really, uh. So having co-op is pretty awesome for anybody that wants to play with friends. You know, people who want to play with their kids, I guess, can incorporate that into their lives. Co-op is pretty cool. Is it the best thing in the world? I don't really know. It's not that important to me because I play by myself and I don't have kids or anything like that. So it's not like, that's it's not something that I was like super looking forward to. Broski, what do you? Where'd you? Did that guy die? Is he run away? I don't know what happened, but co-op, whatever. That's awesome, you know, for everybody that wanted it. Another cool thing is that going forward, we know that every Halo game is going to have a public beta. I'm sure that you know there's going to be alphas and stuff. People are probably already playing some form of the game. You know, not just uh, with deaths and stuff. There's probably influencers and things of that nature that already have their hands in the game, already have touched the game. So, I personally am looking forward to playing the beta. I, I, I hope that it's soon. I hope they announce it at E3 this year and we can play it like as soon as they announce. They're like, hey, there's gonna be a beta. Hey, the beta's out right now, so go play. One of the more interesting things that's uh, floating around, and I believe it was Phil Spencer who said this. I'll throw up the article on the screen um, where he actually seconds. says it, but Halo, K lagging. Halo 6 most likely will be released on Sniper PC, on and that's a pretty cool thing if you ask me because that's a whole e, that's a whole uh, audience that has been untapped for Halo for a very long time. So that'll boost the player base up. It'll, oh no. It'll allow people to uh, play Halo that haven't gotten to play Halo in a long time. I know that was a big deal with Destiny and uh, you know, getting new players to play the game. But with Halo, I feel like it's uh, definitely different. Definitely an untapped market. Now what that means for like competitive Halo and stuff, who knows? I don't know if uh, we would see it jump straight being a PC competitive game. Give me this, no. I don't know how I missed that, but I'm I'm trash, so that's probably why. But Microsoft has said that Microsoft has said that they want to bring all their flagship games to the PC. And that means Halo. Bang. And with Halo being on PC, that opens up a lot of content creation options. You can do a lot of cool things on PC. There are a lot of I, I wouldn't even call them mods. They're almost like full games that are being developed right now for uh, the PC community. But uh, it'll be pretty cool to have an actual sanctioned, I guess, uh, Halo game out. I do, uh, I do hope that it's as... I played Destiny 2 on the PC, and that game is pretty crazy optimized. It, it can run on almost like any graphics card and still look decent. Pretty sexy game to look at. So I hope that uh, we see 343 do it right. I'm not sure if they're gonna do it in-house or if there's gonna be like other, um, oh, that's a bad throw, other companies that are gonna be involved in creating it. But I, that is something I, another thing we know is that there is gonna be microtransactions in the game. Uh, I'm not surprised, you know, it's pretty standard now for there to be loot boxes and things of that nature in basically every game that's released. Not mad about it. Hopefully they do it the correct way in that everything's not locked behind a loot box. 
know, like every customization thing and armor piece. I, I hope that they, uh, they at least do it the right. Another big problem that people had with Halo 5 was that it wasn't focused single player wise on Master Chief. You know, you had lock and stuff. That's something that they said they're definitely going to take a look at and adjust. The game is going to focus more on Master Chief when it's released. That's a good thing. There's a lot that we don't know about Halo 6, and hopefully as E3 gets closer and, you know, we get into the summer months, hopefully there's more information coming out. So definitely subscribe to the channel if you guys want to know more info about Halo 6. Make sure you like the video if you did enjoy it, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.